How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and today we're watching episode three of Oceanico. Um, the last episode I felt crazy because it was so much shorter than obviously the first episode. It's back to normal um, runtime, and we had Ruby, who is now trying to follow in Aya's footsteps, which kind of makes sense to me, kind of doesn't. I feel like if you go through something like what she went through, I would try and distance myself as far away from it as possible. But both of them still managed to be in the in entertainment industry somewhat. Um, they're not really completely distanced, and part of it is because of how they're growing up. I mean, um, Miyako and obviously Strawberry Productions is still there. They're still with, kind of, in this area, you know, and they can't really separate themselves that easily. And obviously we had Aqua kind of want to be raised by the director that um, we saw originally in the first first episode uh, that kind of helped him out and helped I out a little bit so he's trying to break in that way for his own reasons but we saw Ruby get rejected uh, and then not rejected by joining the strawberry productions team in order to make a new idol group for the first time since basically I's group the Kamachi um, and it's very convenient for them because it's an easy way to keep track of her and know what's going on versus her going to God knows where with God knows who and just to have a repeat of what happened with her mom. So, with that being said, let's hop into the episode two where we're going now. Such a hard intro. <laughs> this is awesome. She's like, I don't like this girl. Please. I hate her. <laughs> you think she's getting ready to bully her anyway? Yo, she is obsessed, huh? She's like, I'm trying to trying to see my see my dude, my rival, but not really. She's just stalking him at this point. <laughs> she's literally just bothering him. She's really hoping he says yes. Which, I mean... Oh! She just got, like, punched in the stomach. Is she trying to go out with this dude? Is she trying to, like, be friends? Is she trying to do anything? Like, what's... Huh? <laughs> you want to come over and hang out? Uh, she's literally a celebrity so that's annoying oh he's pulling up to the director's place with her that's amazing oh <laughs> she, she's dying getting stabbed Ooh, wait a minute assistant dubs love it very curious to see why, how she feels about that. Interesting. This is a very interesting, like, truck driver. <laughs> oh, look at her. She gets fed now, too, and everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Well, dude, there's a reason why you gotta sweat on you it's because she's right bro but hey at least you're doing something uh, she's like i'm loaded it's okay <laughs> i wonder how much she did act back when she was a child versus now like how much of a difference it is uh, you need to do it come on kana do it convince she's gonna she's gonna finesse him into into acting again do it. Do it. You should just just tell him anyway. No way. He knows about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looks like he's going to get him. She's going to get him in it. Come on, dude. Do it. Just for fun. It might help. Huh? Uh oh. This is connected somehow. Oh. Wow. She was smart. Wow, that's crazy. That was, it was just a dead phone. It was like a couple people that 
she knew from the, from the old days. Yo, that's annoying. What? Oh my god, he was... This man is so dedicated. But he had the time, I guess. It, we, this man took four years to unlock somebody's phone? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Aqua's out his goddamn mind. 007? He's gonna do it just to kill this motherfucker. Oh, he's gonna kill this guy. Oh, shit. No, he's not jealous. Yo, oh, he's like, let's. I'm gonna turn up. I'm gonna act my ass off for this, just so I can kill this guy afterwards or during. Damn, he's hot, dude. Oh man. Okay. Interesting. I'm very curious to see who this guy is related, huh? Yo, she's not wrong. Oh, see, I knew they were gonna hold on to those words. Like, duh, they're gonna hold on to that. Oh. He hasn't forgotten, but... It's other 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 means. He's got other issues he's gotta deal with. A root of his hair? Why? So she can figure out... Does he have that tech? That, like, he can DNA trace shit? Does he still have... Oh, well, actually, I don't know. The knife wouldn't matter. But... Very curious to see. You're gonna play a villain who shows up in the last episode? It's gonna be the highest rated episode? <laughs> Internet streaming show, that's nuts. Oh man. Is this good? Is this bad? How are we gonna how are we feeling? Oh he started walking around, he's like, this is terrible. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not good. Well, duh, it's had the one star. Obviously, it's not going to be good. Oh, man. He's reading it right now. He's back there like, nope, nope. That was not how it went. <laughs> uh, it might be bad. Just I mean, the direction might be terrible. I mean, yeah, she seemed okay, but the other two seemed terrible. Uh, he's gonna pull up and he's gonna just like outshine everybody, huh? At least I hope. That would be great. No, <laughs> she told him that. She told him what happened. Oh, man. So no one gives a shit about her acting. They all just want to look at these. These hot dudes. She's holding back. I don't feel like wasting my time. Yeah. Uh. Oh, he hates it. She hates him. Oh, dude, I feel bad for her. Part of it seems like it's truth, but also part of it's a lie, probably. Yeah. If you're doing an internet TV show and it's six episodes, and you're trying to pack so much into that, that's not gonna work, obviously. Ooh. Ooh. That must have been the uh, creator of Cowboy Bebop when he looked at the uh, Netflix one. She wants to make it at least watchable, at least somewhat bearable. Ooh, we remember that. We remember that question or that that statement the director said to him. Uh, she had her thing and she got famous off that thing and then it didn't work out. Yeah. <sighs> She's trying to be easy going now. He doesn't kill her, kill him, and ruin her reputation or just ruin any chance she has to get a job. <laughs> Yes, they are. Yes. You can't act and not be, like, have self-confidence out the ass. A little flippy flip flip. Yeah. You're not a grown-up yet. Relax. You're in, you're in high school. Or middle school. Almost high school. Aw. 
she respects him as an actor that's the that's the issue she's flipped to i mean she grew up kind of for the most part she wants to to make a good show and she knows he's a good actor so it'll, it'll at least help something a little bit oh all right so at least there's something there pull what off pull the show off or kill somebody like you have that fucking black like star eye why does it go back and forth with that it's just is it just an art direction thing or is it like truly something else yeah they don't have budget you don't have time that's that's how they, how they that's how it works those dudes just his acting is just him being him Ooh, ugh, that's a weird thing to be doing playing the yep classic actor classic classic stuck up fucking loser <laughs> she's already been through that phase so she gets how it's meh <laughs> that's fucking awesome she gets it Ooh, music. Ooh, where did that come from? Just nice little strings. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Ooh, just the eyes gonna get like big and black, just ready to turn, turn them inside out. Could not. It could be an okay relationship though. You never know. Oh. That's what he's gonna do with the DNA. Okay, I was trying to figure out why he would need DNA. He's gonna try and match it to him and Ruby. What is he gonna do? He's not gonna kill his dad, right? His dad wouldn't have... Well, we don't know if his dad had the information to give to the stalker for... I, I guess. So they're, it's just gonna be both of them sharing the screen, I think. Yeah, that's I know. I, it was literally the first thing I said. The irony of it all is fucked. Just immediately playing a stalker. Oh no, it's not just both of them. He's here too. Oh, he's just being corny, and she is a little bit more in her own world. You suck, fucking idiot. Wow, so they gotta they gotta try and move everything around to try and beat the leaks and stuff. He's just doing him. He's not trying to be anything extra. He's always just been acting as himself. Oof. Just a diamond dozen actor. You don't know that man. You haven't been doing it, so how do you know? Probably. I think that is part of it. I think he just doesn't think about himself when he acts, so he's just doing what needs to be done. Yeah. The leader of the troop, the reason he's here. Yeah. She's trying to... I feel bad, because she, she's trying to do her best, and she's very happy that he's here. She tried to get better. She's, exactly, she's just... Literally doing, doing what she can to keep her dream alive a little bit. Hey, don't make me look bad. That's, that's also that too, right? Oh. She figured out she wasn't alone. Yep. That's cute. I like them. I like them now. I like them together. It's great. Yeah. Oh, so there he's finessing her. He is finessing her. It's not even like a good thing anymore. Oh. Yeah. It's all just it's like uh like a game getting a an anime. It's really just to sell the game or, or whatever. Oh, it sucks that that's how he thinks. <gasps> he's gonna get the thing. Ooh, does he know which one he's gonna get? Did he pay attention that much? Oh, he just took a bunch of them. Oh.
<laughs> what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do, dude? Wait a minute, what? That's how that shit ends? I'm so curious as to what Aqua's gonna do. Obviously, we have him acting again, and he he's just doing what he can. But it seems like, I don't know if it's the acting that he's gonna try and, like, overact and just be way better than the other two and just cast, like... Like kind of said, he kind of casts himself aside. He puts his ego aside. He just kind of does the acting and just doesn't think about it. Is he going to do that and just try and like act his ass off and try and get in with this producer and then just take care of business? Like was it like, it's, I don't know. I know his motives. We know what he's doing. We know, we haven't figured out yet how far he's gone because we know he's gone far. Uh, to wait four years to try and unlock a phone is fucking crazy. But there's so many other things he could have done in that time as well. Who else did he investigate? Who else does he know about already? Like, does he have a list? Does he have some type of portfolio or something that he has that kind of breaks people's relationships down that were connected to I? What else does he have? Because he's got to have something else unless the whole point of like struggling for four years to figure it out was because he had nothing else to go on. That would make sense too, I get that. To be really hyper-focused on this producer is really interesting to me because it doesn't seem like he has the full information yet and it's just a hunch that he's going off of, which I feel like he's way too meticulous to be just doing that. So there's gotta be more, there's gotta be more to it that would connect them somehow. Um, whether it be text or something, obviously we don't get the full like translation on screen so I didn't really get to see it, I don't know. But like, what are, what were the texts that she was sharing with this guy? Like, what does she, what does he know? You know what I mean? What does, does he know about the producer and, and their relationship and when this relationship took place and, and all that? Um, it's kind of nuts, but I'm hoping that like, again, he's finessing Kana. Kana is just trying to act and the producer's taking advantage of her ridiculously. Um, She's doing freelance work, so she's cheaper. She's just easy to work with, and it's just a whole lot easier for him to deal with it than any anything else. So obviously he will keep contacting her, keep contacting her, but at the same time is dragging her down and isn't letting her kind of do bigger projects because he is bringing her to his level. And he understands that. He knows he's just making some random bullshit. And sometimes in the entertainment industry, that's what that is. But people also don't understand that like, there's people like Kana that are involved in these projects and want to act their ass off and want to do the best they possibly can. And some of the crew don't give a fuck. Um, people don't care. They just want to do the thing and get the fuck out. So I feel really bad for her. I'm glad she grew up, but I'm gl I, she totally deserves more. Um, and I don't know if she'll get it because this show has proven to be a fucking like roller coaster, just crazy. So maybe in the next episode we'll see if he kind of like tells her, hey, they're taking advantage of you, or how is he gonna act? I don't know. What he, what impression is he gonna make on everybody else? Because um, we already got kind of like, all right, he's he's okay, he's doing his thing, it's fine. It's not like we're asking much of him anyway. But I am. The show is super interesting. It's, it's something that I didn't, again, I've said it, I think every episode, it's something I didn't think I was gonna get. So I'm like really locked in because it's very unique, it's very cool. But please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for every time I post an Oshinoko video. Uh, I mentioned it before as well. I'm posting these Mondays and Fridays and then once I'm caught up, most likely just Fridays. Um, but yes, hit that notification bell, that way you know. And I will see you guys next time.